I couldn't talk without introducing my best friend, Mr. Motivator, obviously. Uh, remember, everybody remember Mr. Motivator? Yeah, of course we do. Um, um, Michael's sort of given the game away because I was going to ask you a question at this point. Um, okay, we talk about him being Mr. Motivator, but actually, what does he actually give us? What is it? If anybody want to put it in the chat? When we watch him, he gives us energy, exactly. So what we want, actually, when we talk about motivation, that's essentially that's what it is. Um, motivation is, uh, well, motivation is two words, uh, motive and action. Motive being the reason, action being the thing we do. So actually, Mr. Motivator probably couldn't motivate us. He could inspire us and maybe generate some energy to make us do something. But actually, what we want to make sure is that we un we've got to understand what it is that we really get energy from. Um, so that's that's the point here, is understanding where we get our energy from. And if we can do that, we can make sure that um, we can run our businesses. Because um, let's face it, um, running a business takes energy. Um, so we need to know where you get your energy from. So. With that in mind, let's just think about energy at the moment. It's all changing, isn't it? Simon's into this. Um, uh, with, with our cars are going to be using different energy. If I don't know how many people have already used in electric cars, but uh, I haven't got that way yet. But you know, the, the energy we use in our cars is going to in our vehicles is going to change or changing, and also the way we generate energy is changing. It's about um, solar energy um, and wind energy. All these things. Um, and, and the, the point is that we've got to make sure that we maintain that energy because we need it and we're using it all the time. But my question is, how do you maintain your own energy? Because what we want to make sure, we've got to make sure that we maintain that fire within that keeps that, keep that burning and not allow those things that make it feel as if we're in an ice bucket challenge and we're, and we're losing that energy by things that are just being dumped on us all the time. So let's think about um, where we get, how, how we can perform our best, actually. That's the, that's the important thing here. There's three things that we need to think about. We need to think about the direction we're heading. We need to think about the skills, knowledge, know-how, all those things. Uh, and we also need to think about the motivation. And these three elements put together uh, allow us to form our best. Now, most people are aware of the first two, the direction and skills, the uh, but probably not so much the motivation. They probably won't be able to understand or actually describe what motivates them. But what, we, what we're really talking about here are the what, the how, and the why we do what we do. So most people can describe what they do. Uh, most people can probably describe how they do it. Um, but not many people can describe why they do what they do. Um, and I'm sure at this point, a lot of you are thinking about Simon Sinek's book, uh, Start With Why, where he says that's where the, every business should start. Um, when um, when we think about branding uh, with uh, Greg's work, you know, we start with a why, think about what, what are we, why, do, why are we bothering? Why, why does this matter? Because there's lots of other people doing what we do and, and probably similar in, in, in the way that they do it. But actually, why are we doing this different? Why is it going to be different? Uh, and, and obviously, branding is a, a key thing with regards to the difference we make uh, and the way that we do it. Sorry, why we do it. That's the key. So think about that. What what do you do? How do you do it? Uh, but essentially, why do you do what you do? Because that uh, uh, that essentially will give give you the energy that you you you, you need to run your business. And there are essentially. Th nine reasons that we go to work um, and i use a, a tool called motivational maps to identify those things um, i'm not i'm not going to dwell too much on this because i want to share some some stories about uh, how understanding motivation really can make a difference to your business but they're the nine motivations to work um, and if you want more information on that just book a one-to-one -one and i'll go through what the nine motivations are and how they work but, what we've got to do is actually, as it says there, how do we maintain energy? Well, this is an example of a motivational map uh, result. Um, and this person on the left-hand side, their most, most, most important motivator is searchers. So they want to make feel that they're making a difference. They also want to be an expert and they also want to be 
uh, builder, which uh, essentially means that they want to be well rewarded financially. But there's also the lowest motivator which comes into play because that can be our Achilles heel. If we are not focusing on something that doesn't motivate us, our business may suffer. So there are uh, the most important and there's the least important and we need to look at both of those. And what we what we can see from this graph is that they are descending from the most important down to the least important. And the most important ones are the ones we need to pay most attention to. But we also think about what is it that least motivates us that may cause us a problem. Um, and, and that's that that's where I want to think about where those things are. So in this instance, this person is motivated least by the star motivator. The star is about recognition and getting noticed and social esteem. So the star is the motivator that I associate mostly with marketing. Um, and if this person was uh, a business owner, would they be paying enough attention to their marketing or would they be doing it at all? That's, that's, that's the, the question I would be asking. So there's a little bit of a rundown to, with regards to what I'm going to talk about. Um, and I want to talk a couple of, I want to give you a couple of, um, I suppose, case studies um, of people that I've worked with that have had a massive uplift in their business when they've suddenly realized what it is that they really want from their business or where they get their energy from. So the first person I introduce you to is Joe, It's not his real name. But Joe I met about five years ago uh, and he had just completed a motivational map and it was saying he was very demotivated. It seemed like he was being successful but actually the motivation was very low. His top motivator was freedom. He wanted to have freedom to make his own decisions. That wasn't being very well met. He wanted also to be an expert. He wanted to be a specialist in what he does. He wasn't, that wasn't very, very well met either. And he also wanted to make a difference and he didn't feel that was being fulfilled either. So all in all, his top three motivators were not being met. And it, it was his realization that his business was not going in the direction that he needed it to go in. He was successful in that he was busy, but that meant that he was giving up his weekend to catch up with work that wasn't getting done. He was very reliant on self sub subcontractors so uh, when they let him down, he had to go and pick up the pieces. And so he basically re-engineered his business, realizing that he didn't want to rely on other people anymore. They weren't going to give him the freedom he needed and basically became a specialist in what he does. He relearned some, some skills that were in the same sort of marketplace, um, but he uh, really drilled down into some high level uh, information that was going to help businesses and that's what he does now and now he charges more he works less his business is growing it's doubled last year just because he's focusing on the things that he knows that motivate him and he's got the energy to do that